While the French feudal elite were soon joined by a new set of United Empire loyalists who left America after the Revolutionary War to establish English-speaking Canada, some traders remained behind in the United States where they passed themselves off outwardly as friends of the revolution, but always maintained a secret allegiance to the city of London and the system of hereditary powers antagonistic to the principles of the Constitution and to the Declaration of Independence. These traitors fomented the growth of a perverse form of manifest destiny, which abolitionists like Franklin, John Jay, Alexander Hamilton, Gouverneur Morris, Robert Morris, etc., fought tirelessly against throughout their lives. These traitorous bigots made every effort to spread slavery, destroy Native Americans, all the while subverting the true heritage of the Republican cause from within. One notable early representative of this group killed Alexander Hamilton in 1804 and set up the Bank of Manhattan, establishing Wall Street as a city of London tentacle within America itself, where this proto-deep state remained in power for the next 250 years. In France, Ben Franklin's allies, led by the Marquis de Lafayette and Jean-Sylvain Bailey, found their noble Republican efforts of 1789-1790 sabotaged by a color revolution in the form of the bloody Jacobin Terror, coordinated by London's Foreign Office. In Canada, the British Foreign Office instituted a form of government which gave some limited election possibilities to the plebeians in 1791, but ensured that all actual power remained firmly in the hands of appointees by the Crown. During the post-1791 years, local oligarchies formed under the Family Compact of Upper Canada and the feudal elite of the Church in Lower Canada collaborated closely in an unholy alliance. Their efforts were always driven by the need to keep the nation un-American, by ensuring that the lands remained underdeveloped, the economy remained cash-cropping as hewers of wood and drawers of water, and the population docile, ignorant, and malleable. In spite of this perversion of history, growing poverty and injustices did induce a movement of resistance which began to take the form of Republican patriot movements under the leadership of William Lyon Mackenzie in Upper Canada and Louis-Joseph Papineau in Lower Canada, which would come to a head in the rebellions of 1837-1838.